big intro coming soon. Hey, what's up, guys? CGTV here. Today, I'm going to introduce you the brand new iPhone XR. So what I'm gonna go through in this video is the battery life, some of the specs and and also is it worth it for you? Should you buy one? And let's check it out. This iPhone XR comes in slightly cheaper compared to the XS version. The price starting at $1,229, Sing dollar for 64 gig and $1,299 for for 128GB, do not let them fool you that this is a budgeted iPhone, obviously this is not. But of course if you compare to the XS version, you can save up to 420 Singapore dollar for the price, which is a lot. Here I have the Space Grey version. The unboxing experience is mostly the same as the rest of the iPhone. get the paperwork at the top as you expected, a little apple sticker and a quick start guide and everything you need to know about the iPhone. Of course the SIM ejection tool is there. Underneath there is the rest of the accessories. The charging brake the lightning cable and the lightning headphone. The only thing is missing is the dongle. So if you need the dongle, you need to purchase additional. Everything stays the same as the iPhone XS, which means the only different thing is the iPhone in the box itself. So as the main difference between the XS and the XR, things has to reduce and things have to use different materials and all that. The new screen is 720p LCD. The RAM here is 1 gig lesser, so it's 3 gig here. Compared to the XS, it's 4 gig, and a slightly different material choice as this has a color graded aluminium rails instead of a stainless steel. So it is matte on the side instead of glossy, so it feels a bit little bit lighter. So it weighs about 194 grams. So it sits in between the iPhone XS and the iPhone XS Max with a 6.1 inch display. The height here is 451, the width is 75.7 and the depth is 8.3. And they have 6 different colors to choose from and yes, the blue color is one of my favorite. It's something refreshing than the common black and white. Of course, they are more professional looking. It has a IP67 rating instead of the rest of the iPhone which is the IP68 water resistant. So what is the difference between IP67 and IP68 is the depth, the water depth level that it can go and hold up to, which IP67 only hold up to 30 minutes. The display, this is the biggest difference versus the iPhone XS. This is the part of the reason why they can be slightly cheaper. It is LCD with curved corner which they call it liquid rectangle display. It has a pixel density of 1792 by 828 and is surrounded by this thicker bezel. There's no 3D touch for this if anybody uses it a lot. The battery life they indicated has 2942 million power. It's really good. It's the same as the XS Max or even better. If you watch the latest commercial, you will know that they are hard selling of all day battery life. So this 10R has only the single camera lens behind instead of the dual lens that iPhone XS has. They have dish away the telephoto lens. You can still zoom to something but it will be the digital zoom. So what it gets worse is that it will have more pixel created and it will be pixelized. There is a portrait mode but it only works for human. So if you have an object in front and you try to use the portrait lens, it will not work because it will prompt you that there's no human detected. So how's the sound like? Well, I think it's pretty decent that you, it's loud enough you can hear 
even though you are outside. But I guess when you're in public places, you will be using headphones instead of the loudspeaker. But probably when you want to share some video with your friend, then you will start to on the sound louder. But I think it's pretty decent. You can actually check, listen to it yourself. If you are an iPhone X user like me, there's no point for you to change to iPhone XR but I would recommend people who are upgrading from their iPhone 7 or iPhone 8 to this iPhone XR if they don't wish to pay more. Alright guys, that's the end of the video. I hope this video is useful enough for you. You can make your decision on buying one. So if you like this video, please let me know with a like. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Okay, thanks. Bye